Hey, what is up, everybody? Michael Crump back here again, talking about the latest and the greatest in PlayStation, homebrew news, and much, much more. So today, I wanted to revisit Master Core and provide a bit of an update, as well as discuss a little bit more about emulation configuration files, which is a topic that I think a lot of people have bypassed. So hopefully I can shed some light on that. So to kick things off, the very first thing I wanted to talk about was last week, Macaulay released the Master Core PS2 Game Loader version 0.1.3, and he added in emulator config support. Now, it says in here that added support for loading config files and improved game download speed, as well as to stop the trophy thread to prevent unlocking Oakage trophies. And so basically in previous versions, when you ran Okage Shadow King, it would unlock a number of trophies. And this is actually the trophies that was unlocked on my account. And yes, it was synced to the PlayStation Network. Now, I don't believe any sort of ban is going to come out of this for unlocking trophies or maybe cheating in trophies because that's kind of what it would show as, especially because the date and the time of all of these trophies was triggered at the same time. And even the screenshots show Okage Shadow King running. But again, you don't have to worry much about that, but it is good to see that that has been fixed. And then finally, he released the different types of assets. Now, one other thing to call out here is, is that you will see that there is PS4 all the way through 10.50, but for the PlayStation 5, it's still at 6.50. No support right now for 7.00 or 7.01. Now, going back to the emulator config support, you'll find that in the main repo right here, there really isn't any information about it. And mainly that's because that was first introduced over here in the PS2 USB game loader. And in this instance, he does have some instructions for that. Looking at configuring a USB to use these configuration files, he says that the USB root directory should contain a folder with the name games, with a single folder for each game, and then optionally a .conf file. And here's an example of one of these .conf files. And if we take a look right over here, it says the configuration options can be found on the PS2 emulation dev wiki. Each package or PKG file includes the emulator itself. The PS4 does not have a built-in emulator in its firmware, but it does have PS2 emulator specific features like some of these functions right here. And so what this means is, is that we're taking advantage of obviously the emulator that Sony built, which should be in great condition. But since they were optimizing here for performance rather than accuracy, because the PS4 is too weak for emulation, that means that some of the games will need different configuration file in order to work properly. Now, inside of the wiki here, you can see that there is all kinds of different configuration files that you can set. So things, you know, down in here, such as like the host window position, you can scroll down in here and see like frame limit for FPS options here regarding the audio. There's some things that you can do regarding the controllers. And really, you could just look through this file for really the rest of your evening. If you are having some specific problems with the game, then what you can do is, is that you can try to use some of the pre-built configuration files. So over here on this side is the actual compatibility list. So it's just called PS2 Classics Emulator Compatibility List. And it has an absolute ton 
of games in here, and really you can take advantage of the people that have, you know, tried different things and have submitted really their own settings or the best settings that they found for the game. So if we were maybe wanting to try a game, and let's just go to Metal Slug Anthology, and I click right here, then I can see these are the settings that they believe will be the best in order for me to get the best experience out of this game. So in order for me to use this file right here, what I would need to do would be go to my games folder. And right here you can see there is a Metal Slug anthology and we'd need to create a new file with this format right here. And as you can see, this is basically the title ID underscore CLI.conf. Now, if you want to know where you will get that title ID from, one place that you can use is PSX Data Center. There's actually a ton of these different sites. But in this example, since this is the US version, or I believe it's the US version, I'm going to select that serial number right there. I'm going to create a new file here, and I'm going to paste in that name, and then we'll give it a dash cli.conf. And now if we open that up inside of Notepad right here, and we copy and paste this information into that Notepad, then that is everything that we would need to do. We can just come right here, and we can go to Save. And now if we look at our USB drive, we have a folder called ELFS right here, which has the MasterCore PS2 USB game loader, which can always be found in the MasterCore PS2 USB game loader. And then coming over here to releases, going to the latest release, and then downloading whichever one is appropriate for your firmware. And then if we go back up a directory, we have the games. And then we have the PS4 folder, and this should contain the save game. Now, I've covered creating the save game in depth in a couple of other videos, so I will link to that one. You can always use Echo Stretch's save game, which I will also link to as well. And really, the only thing left is to eject our USB drive, plug it into our PlayStation 4, and give it a shot. Okay, so here I am on my 10.50 PlayStation 4, and as you can see, there is my trophy progress, and I have never actually played this game before. So I've got my USB drive already inserted, so I'm going to go ahead and load Okage Shadow King. Okay, so we're going to restore our game now. Okay, and we are going to select yes there, because yes, we do want the 10.50 elf and we do not want to play our Genesis. And we are going to say yes here to play MSA, which is Metal Slug. So let's hit yes there. And so now it is obviously using the speed of the USB drive to copy that over to the internal disk. Again, that is temporary. Once you close out of Okage Shadow King, then this image is removed from the system and you would need to do the full process again. Okay, and there is Metal Slug. So we're gonna say yes here. And while this is kind of loading in, there isn't any sort of notification that it picked up on that configuration file. So that would be very helpful to add for the future. I'm gonna go ahead now and I'm gonna play this game for a little bit and then I'll come right back and let you know what I found. Okay, so I've given it a little bit more time and I must say that I haven't really seen a lot different. Obviously, I believe the configuration files work just perfectly fine, but I didn't see anything out of my very limited testing. Anyway, uh, let me know if you have got your configuration files working and have you noticed any sort of improvements. Thank you so very much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Michael, out!